Rwanda, the land of thousand hills, depends on its forests and trees. They protect soil fertility, preserve biodiversity, help to cope with climate change, and provide fuel for cooking. But the forest used to be much vaster. Deforestation and erosion are the major problems, both to existing forests and for farmers and foresters selecting tree species for new plantations. I am part of an ongoing project where researchers from Rwanda and Sweden work together to explore the climate sensitivity of Rwandan tree species. Here at the Rubona site, we study the response of tropical trees to temperature by comparing how they respond here and other sites where temperature is different. But we also look into how they respond to different amounts of rainfall. By manipulating the rainfall, we take away some of it by these rain out shelters, but we also add uh, water by irrigating some plots. I measure the leaf uh, morphological traits and leaf chemical traits. Uh, for the leaf morphological traits, uh, I, I measure the leaf length, the leaf width, the leaf thickness. Let alone uh, those samples are grinded and are sent for chemical nutrient analysis. I'm working on uh, the productivity of uh, Rwandese native tree species uh, across uh, different uh, agroecological zones. My own project focuses on physiological responses of tropical tree species and, for example, how photosynthesis responds to heat and drought. Today we are here at Rubona site with 100 students from the University of Rwanda. And we show them the experiment and we explain the different types of measurements that we do on the plants. We explain the different types of treatments that we apply in the experiment. It's a really important part of our project to have this interaction with students and the partnership that we have between the University of Rwanda, Rwanda Agricultural Board and the University of Gothenburg. We learned a lot of things here, like many instruments that we used to see in our slides. <laughs> but we didn't get the chance to see it on the field, but now I know how to use it and I know exactly how it works. We are in Nyungwe forest, tropical mountain forest, uh, among the remaining block in, on the continent of Africa. So we are about at uh, 2,500 meters above sea level. Some trees here, they grow really tall and big. And some of them you cannot find them at a lower elevation. So it means that in the future climate, they might be at risk. This is Sigela site, the tropical mountain land forest site. We are at the border of Nyungwe forest. And here we are doing two treatments of removing water. I'm standing here by a Carapa grandiflora. It's my favorite species in the experiment. It's also the favorite species for chimpanzee that lives in Nyungwe forests. It's doing well at this site, but in the other sites with warmer climate, they are suffering greatly and many of them have died. We want to, to look at how global warming uh, affects uh, tropical forests in Rwanda. If we conduct research on species that can be used in the future by farmers, they will survive. The government of Rwanda wants to promote the plantation of native tree species. Therefore, in February 2020, a workshop on the theme Future Challenges of Native Tree Species in Rwanda was held at the Rwandan Agriculture Board. During the workshop, there were presentations, discussions and questions, followed by a visit to one of the sites. I welcome you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Why we grow the mixed? From from Nyungwe climax and androfragum karapa. It is important to plant trees for many reasons. There is a reason of soil erosion control. There is reason of medicine. There is reason of trade because the trees can give firewood, can give timber, can give uh, leaves. So there are reasons why it is important to plant trees in my country. Afterwards, there were traditional music and dancing. Yeah. 
Our project envisions a future for Rwanda where trees and forests contribute to tackling ongoing challenges such as soil erosion, population growth, and climate change. Through international collaboration, this project builds partnership to create a green future for Rwanda and the region as a whole.